What is up, my dolphins? And we have gotten a chocolate of Halo 5 Guardians information and all that cool stuff thanks to Game Informer. So, so uh, what so who that, that happened with the Halo and stuff? Well, let me tell you. This is why I love 343. So, the maximum, I think the highest amount of maps we've ever, we've ever had in a Halo game, I think it was either 14 or 12 or 10. Not too sure. So, I think all of you Halo fans would be nice to be informed that Halo 5 is going to be released with 20 maps. That's twice the amount of fingers we have. <laughs> That's <laughs> 20 maps. Okay, 20 maps. You're not going to get bored of multiplayer too quickly. Oh, and there's more. Okay, so 20 maps. And then they're going to, and then down the line, they're going to give us free DLC. 15 maps. So we just got 35 maps for absolute free. That's 35 maps! That's insane. You know what? I liked Halo, th Halo 4, but I know a lot of the Halo community didn't. And I know that there was a lot of things that Halo 4 did that just kind of made me go... Why have that in? Like, um... I enjoyed the loadouts, but I thought the perk system was kind of... blatant. Uh, but... Th their entire purpose here was to reunite the entire Halo community and just smash them all into one big mosh pile and just make them have the time of their lives. And also, they released information about a new map and a new game mode. Yep, yeah, map game mode. The new map is called Fathom. It's an underwater map, which is apparently really symmetrical, kind of like how the Halo basic map kind of works. Now, I've never really said it before, but considering that my channel name is Dolphins Co. I like dolphins, and all that. I love underwater maps. I think it's so cool to be just look out the glass and see a giant fish swimming by. Because I was in the art. There was a big fish outside that window. I think it's just so cool to be underwater. I don't know, um, have you ever seen that movie Deep Blue Sea? I didn't really like the movie, but I thought the concept was cool. And... Uh, yeah, it just looks nice. I just like underwater maps, and I think it's going to be a really cool idea and all that nice stuff. Plus, it's going to be one of the 20 maps we get, so... Free DLC! What's Call of Duty going to give us? Five maps for $20? How about 15 maps for free? Ha! Huh? 35 maps! And apparently the new mode is supposed to kind of mush in everything from the new modes and everything and all that. So maybe this is the big substitution for Invasion that we've been saying. I didn't, don't really know if I told you guys. Sadly, Halo 5 will not have Invasion. But uh, I watched the Halo follower video, and he mentioned that it could be a lot like a Star Wars Battlefront type thing. And I figured that'd be really cool. Considering just Halo has a lot of modes. You could just mix that into a kind of like maybe Ground War like from Call of Duty, except good. And actually requires you to think. I like the ideas that were that the fourth we're coming up with and they're great and everything. So wow, that's um you guys make me love you. Oh my god. If you're still angry at three four three for ruining Halo, then just stop being a fan of Halo because I don't think that we can provide you anything else yet. Fifteen maps for free Plus twenty at launch 35 maps! You're never gonna get bored! Even Halo Reach with DLC! Let's see, it only had... Maybe not even 20 maps! We get that much at launch! And 15 down the road! Ugh! Thanks, Ripper. Make this a good one. I don't think you could fail.